What's going on, everybody? Uh, I am here today with a very recent uh, phenomenon called Project Mockingbird. If you have not heard of this thing yet, you have got to check this out. I'm going to do this uh, this setup guide really quickly, uh, and then following we'll do a, a question and answer if anybody has any questions about the setup. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. <clears throat> Here. So the first thing you'll want to do is inside of your transmitter, you'll want to set up a couple different channels. For uh, these beta flight boards, you'll want arm switch set, and then you also want a uh, another switch. I just use a two position switch that transfers me between my acro and my my angle mode racing for racing. Uh, so I use not that it not that it matters, but I use the uh, C channel for my arm. I'm using F for my acro and angle. If you have any questions about how to do that? I think it's a pretty simple thing. Let me know. I'll, I'll help you out there. It's basically just in your channel assign and your system setup. On now the next thing you want to do is set up mixing. Uh, if you go into your your main menu, scroll down and find mixing. And here's what you want to set up. Your first mix will be your pitch and your altitude. So basically when you're pitching back and forth, uh, it mixes the throttle with it. And I think that's one of the keys behind why the Inductrix FPV flies so well. Part of, I mean, mostly it's, it's, it's uh, angle mode strength, but this mixing is definitely important. Uh, so make mix one uh, pitch and altitude. I've actually dropped mine down to uh, 25 and minus 25. Uh, this picture is straight from the, the Project Mockingbird manual, basically, which I have uh, updated and put it into the description below. So if you want to check out that full document, go ahead and look there. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've dropped it down to 25 and minus 25. Uh, that seems to keep it nice and level. When you mix throttle on different uh, axes, you'll notice that if you, uh, so like this one here, if you pitch back and forth rapidly, you'll actually, uh, you will see that it'll rise as you pitch back and forth. And I didn't want that, so I just, uh, I lowered the rate a little bit and it kept it nice and steady. You'll also want to, for the switch, like I said, I've got my F switch is the acro and angle mode switch. So I've actually set that to be on the same switch as my acro angle, so switch F. So if you want to, if you want to do that as well, uh, I highly suggest that. The next, the next mix you'll want to do is the roll in altitude. I've done the same thing. I, I lowered the rate from 30% to 25%. And also uh, the switch is enabled for the F switch. So again, when I'm in acro, the mixing is not on, but when I switch it down and go into angle, it is not, it, or it is active. So if you've never done that, uh, it can be kind of confusing at first, uh, but you should figure it out. I have, I have faith in you. The next thing we want to do is we will go into beta flight. Connect my brain here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and connect. First thing while you're up here, make sure that you enable expert mode uh, because without it, you will not be able to see this adjustments tab. And we'll get to that here in a second. Uh, so go into your configuration. A couple things you want to do here. Uh, make sure your accelerometer is on. If it's not, the angle mode will not work. Also scroll down. Uh, I enable air mode, whether I'm in acro or angle. Um, so like with my Inductrix FPV boards, I set an idle up switch. I really like to race like that. So when I drop the throttle, I don't just you know drop out of the air. It just kind of floats down. Uh, so that's how I race. So I leave air mode permanently enabled. If you want, uh, if you don't want air mode on your angle mode setup here, you'll just have to leave this off and then you'll have to find a combination on your modes tab, how to enable air mode while you're in acro, but not while you're in angle, angle mode. 
Uh, I have anti-gravity and dynamic filter both enabled here. Uh, the the document for Project Mockingbird doesn't have anti-gravity set, but uh, I have it. I have it on. I haven't noticed a difference. It still feels still feels great. So that's all for here. Next, we will go down. I'm gonna have you do your adjustments first. This it's kind of finicky for me. I don't know if it does it to everybody or just me, uh, but. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just, just follow along. It, it never really exactly worked out for me, but anyway, uh, this is uh, one of the keys here. You're going to set an adjustment. Uh, so enable this first one. I'm using auxiliary two cause that's where my, uh, my F switch is, is assigned. It's on auxiliary two. And then you're going to set your range. Uh, I'm actually setting it so that when I'm down, it'll go into my angle mode, uh, rate profile. Uh, so it's active in that area. You're going to apply, if it's in this range, you're going to apply a rate profile selection. Uh, and I don't think this matters here. I've tried every combination and it, no matter what slot I choose, uh, when I'm in the PID tab, it only switches between rate, rate profile one and three. So uh, just select one and then also via auxiliary channel two and save that. So now this should save you some headache. Uh, trying to figure out which uh, which position switch does what. Uh, so then go into your PID tuning and now start moving that switch. So I'm going to move it into my up position where I would hope my acro would be. Then I'll move it down and you can see uh, when I'm in down it's in rate, rate profile 1. When it's up it switches to profile 3. So now that that switch is already set and it's already switching between whatever rate profiles it chooses for you. Uh, like I said, I couldn't get mine to go between one and two. It was kind of a headache to get used to, but uh, yeah, I, I just got it got it set up and, and just followed whatever profile it switched to. So here we go. I'm in rate profile three. Uh, this is up on my transmitter, and that's what I want my acro mode to be. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and uh, you know do whatever you want for your, for your rates on your acro. Um, before we get into setting up the angle mode uh, rates, make sure you change your angle mode strength to 80. Uh, I don't think, I'm not setting up horizon mode. I'm not going to worry about that here either. Uh, but just in case it, it is a difference, I don't think it should be. This should only pertain to horizon mode. Uh, but set that to 30 with a transition of 25. And then your angle limit, I believe the, the, uh, the document says 50. I've upped it to 55 to give me a little extra tilt. I think this feels really good. I was I was struggling to get enough tilt out of 50, uh, but 55 feels really good. Uh, so save those when you're done with that. Go into your filter. Uh, you're going to turn this on to uh, the D-term low-pass filter. is going to be PT1. You're also going to basically disable every notch filter. Uh, gyro 1, Gyro 2, and the D-term notch filter. Once you do that, make sure you save. Now let's go back to the PID settings. Uh, you will switch your... Your, your switch your switch to uh, the other position and this should take you to another rate profile and this is what you will set up uh, as your your angle mode this project mockingbird the magic right here uh, you're gonna disable all RC Expo so yeah super rate and RC Expo are all zero so zero those out and then for your roll and pitch you're gonna set it as 2.21 uh, and then y'all will be 2.07 and it should come out to something like this. The document had a little bit different uh, numbers. I think it was like 1048. Uh, mine's showing 1041. I don't think you're going to notice that few degrees of difference. So just make sure it's somewhere around there. You should be good to go. Uh, make sure you save that again. And now you can kind of mess around and make sure that all your switches are, are correct. I know for me up position is my acro and it goes to the correct profile here with my expo and all my rates. Uh, and then the other position down goes to the, the angle mode, the racing mode that I want set up here. Honestly, it's that easy. It is really that easy. I'm starting to fade away. What's going on with my, my thing here? Let's see. So then, I mean, you should be able to go off and start flying in angle mode. It's that easy. So I guess that was easy enough. I don't see too many people in the chat, only a few people watching. If you have any questions, 
uh, ask them away right now. My intent for this kind of stuff is to do the tutorial right here live for you, and then I can answer the uh, answer any questions you have, so that later on when somebody is uh, trying to, you know, is watching this video to set up their 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 angle mode, if they have that same kind of a question, it's already answered. Boom. Hi, buddy. We're watching just in time. Very nice. All right, let me see if I can fix this filter here a little bit. Uh, that is not fun. Over that a little bit. <laughs> Come on. Coming back. What? Really? Well, that's starting to show some orange in the background, but whatever. Uh, so Kevin says to get same rate as uh, Patrick Clark to adjust your dead band. Ah, uh, that could be it. Okay, yeah. Tiny loop gate link. Uh, so yeah, thanks. I didn't know that. I didn't know the dead band would do that. Hey, but yeah, I think the best part of Mockingbird is the throttle mix in the radio. Yes, uh, very, very important. <clears throat> and I think you and I did the same thing. Lowered it to uh, 25 and minus 25, and that perfect state steady. Yeah, I, it's hard to do a, a different color. I've got here. Let me show you. <laughs> I've got a, some green, um, this fabric laying behind me. But when you do, or it's green, it's orange. Orange. When you do a different color than any of the standard ones, like I think blue and green and magenta maybe are standard in this uh, OBS. You have to select the color, and obviously you can see that I don't have perfect lighting behind me, so there's a different shade from this side then over on this side uh, so when I pick that color it's like it, it doesn't know how to adjust it and then it starts to take away from your face and it's really annoying it does it does catch the point. I'm, I'm learning this orange is not the best orange is not well I hope I didn't miss anything because I'm gonna feel like an idiot if I did but that's really that's all I got that's all I did. I mean, to start ripping. I'm actually running um, on this B Brain V2 that feels amazing, by the way. I'm running the Ludicrous motors, which are a blast, and Bible props. This thing is actually amazing how much yaw authority I have, too. I mean, when I hit that yaw, it's just boom, 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 snappy right on yaw. It's awesome. Uh, so if, if I can maybe set up some kind of like throttle curve to kind of tame how how intense the, the, the these motors are I might start racing with this i might i might make a take a shot at it and start to race around well uh not in nine people what's that's fine uh whatever uh i hope this helped if anybody is watching post live stream if you guys have any questions about project mockingbird as I said, the full document is in the description below, or you can ask a question on here. I will do my best to help out. Uh, if I can't answer it, I'll reach out to Patrick, uh, see see what he can do for us. He's he's the brains behind this. So thank you, Patrick, for Project Mockingbird. It's a blast. I love it. Best of luck to all of you guys. Hope it works for you. Uh, let me know how it goes. Later, guys. <laughs>